it's the untimely passing of Bill Webb, and this is the first season where he hasn't been on any of the Met games or Fox games. What's it like this season going into it in, in the wake of uh, what you guys have been through? And, you know, Bill is gone, but his, you know, the, the memories he left behind of working with him and the friendships with all of us, um, that really will never wane. And we talk about him frequently. You know, he pops up and whether we're talking about something show related or something, you know, personally related, it's, uh, it's definitely been different and uh, he's missed. But I am extremely proud of, you know, the group that we have and how we forged ahead. And, uh, you know, he's never far from our thoughts. You know, I worked with Bill, I sat next to him for 11 years, and it was an experience that I honestly would not trade for anything. I like to say that he was put on this earth to direct baseball games. You know, he, um, he just had a knack, an intuitiveness that, that helped him stand out. Um, he had a, a belief in his own ability, um, a sense of trust in the cameramen that he worked so closely with, uh, in the production people that he worked closely with. And uh, he was a visionary, you know. I mean, I think if I if I had to talk about his style, his actual actual directorial style, I would say that the man never wasted a shot. You know, there wasn't a moment, regardless of the score, regardless of the circumstances, whether it was game 20 or game 120, where he took a playoff. And he had an amazing knack for, I think, utilizing the time between pitches better than anyone who directed baseball ever has. He would get in more meaningful shots in that span and create more drama, more intrigue, more excitement than anybody else. And that was really a gift that he had. And uh, um, I know I certainly appreciated it sitting next to him. How much of a role did the evolution of technology factor into the way th th that he would uh, uh, change a game? Has his game changed over time? I don't think his game changed that much over time. You know, Bill's principles, his mantra never really changed. It was always the game came first, regardless of the technology, regardless of all the outside factors that would um, be part of a broadcast. Um, and the confrontation, the drama between the pitcher and the batter, that was Bill's number one um, concern. That never changed. But does Dan Barr have shoes which are difficult to fill? You know, Dan's a young guy, he's smart, uh, he's creative, he's got good ideas, he understands that Bill, you know, Dan is smart enough to appreciate the foundation that Bill laid for our entire group and to follow that blueprint while, um, while being able to also um, uh, put his stamp, his own personal stamp on, on what it is that we're doing. So, of course he has big shoes to fill, but um, Dan's done a great job so far. Have others copied his style in such a way that now everyone is Bill Webb? <laughs> Bill would laugh at that question. He would laugh. He would always point out things where people copied whatever style he had. And, you know, imitation is the greatest form of flattery. I would always tell him that. You know, when he would get irritated by somebody copying something that he did or something that he, you know, originated. Um, you'd be an idiot not to copy Bill Webb and what he did, you know. And then uh, he pushed the entire art of directing baseball forward so to not copy him would be rather naive and I'm probably not very smart. <laughs> I think Bill's greatest assets you, you know are almost too numerous to to recount in, in, a, in an interview but he had an incredible sense of loyalty among the group that worked with him um, and and that in turn created loyalty back towards him uh, whether it was production people or camera people uh, Bill was an animated guy and he was kind of an in-your-face guy. He was kind of a, um, a guy that told you how he felt, didn't sugarcoat much. Brash? He was brash. He was old school. Bill was old school. There's not too many people like him anymore. I'll never work with anybody like Bill Webb. So in some ways that's, um, it's sad, but he was a real throwback. You know, people love to use the phrase, he was one of a kind. Bill Webb truly was one of a kind. Do, you, do New Yorkers have uh, a justification in feeling somehow blessed in watching uh, their home team games directed by Bill Webb? Yeah, I mean, I think that, y y you know, just like Met fans have been extremely lucky through the years from the origination of the team to have, um, you know, Ralph Kiner, Lindsey Nelson, Bob Murphy, and now to have Gary, Keith, 
and Ronnie in the booth, um, I think the same holds true for, for the production. You know, I think baseball fans, people who watch Met games, you, you know, people are savvy enough, especially with baseball where you're watching every day, game in, game out, you know, day in, day out for six months. People can appreciate a good production and, and they can appreciate the effort that a production team puts forward to try to entertain and educate and, and bring the game of baseball to your living room and try to create, honestly, a little escape for most people for a couple hours every night. So I think people do appreciate it. Uh, fans are savvy enough to appreciate a good production and, and um, people that put forth tremendous effort to, to create entertainment, to create um, almost an escapism for them for a couple nights, a couple hours every night. And I, there's a lot of good directors out there. Um, there's a lot of great people to work with. Um, I just feel extremely fortunate to have had the opportunity to work with Bill for as long as I did. Bill Webb's name, you know, when you walk around and people ask me what I do and I say, you know, I worked with Bill Webb for years, they know exactly who Bill Webb is and they know exactly what kind of accomplishments he achieved in his life. And uh, I feel very lucky to work with our entire group, whether it's uh, Dan Barr, John DeMarsico, Eddie Wehrman. Um, and I feel extremely blessed to have worked for 11 years side by side with Bill.